What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today is a kind of a tradition day for me. It is cookie route Monday. So to explain that, <laughs> every Christmas my wife and her family get together the weekend before Christmas and they bake Christmas cookies all day long. All day, all night. Christmas cookies, that's it. That's all we talk about. And it's a big thing leading up to the week of. And it's just Christmas cookie baking day. So they make all these cookies and uh, fill the whole damn house full of cookies. And uh, then they, they make cookie trays to hand out to friends and family and things of that nature. So. I usually end up with a cookie route. <laughs> I usually end up with a cookie route that I have to go deliver cookies the Monday after, and that's today. So I've just about got them all done, and uh, I got one more stop to make today at one of my favorite places ever to see some of my favorite people. Jigs on 11th Avenue in Columbus, Ohio. We got, uh, there's, there's an incredible staff that works there at the main store led by the general manager, Craig Michael, and he's just a fantastic person. I've known Craig for years. He's been the manager at Jigs at the East Store back when they had the East Store and then at the main store for years and years. And he's just got a really good group of people that work in there and they just, they're just really nice to us. And um, Miss Kimmy, she's the cashier there and uh, she handles returns. She's a sweetheart. She's always good to me and my kids. And my favorite parts guy, sorry guys, I gotta pick a favorite, Terry McMullen. They call him T Mac or T Shizzle. <laughs> Terry, uh, Terry's a fantastic person. So we're gonna go visit them today, drop off some Christmas cookies. Me and June Pug. Where's Miss Kimmy at? There she is. I brought you stuff. I don't know if that's gonna fit underneath the thing there. Now you gotta share. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, Vicky, thank you. Thank I will. You. Where's Terry at? Is he here? Terry should be getting back. Okay, I brought something for you. Did you? Yeah. You got your own care package here. Oh, awesome. It's oh, cookie man. delivering I day. Caps. I wanted one of those caps in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. You're I really appreciate welcome. that. You and Kimmy's always good Thank to my you. kids. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, you guys, you got to share this three trays of cookies or two trays of cookies oh, to everybody yeah. else, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll share them all right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was earlier today i went to jegs and dropped off cookies and all kinds of stuff to miss kimmy and t mac now i'm out here in the shop we have a visitor today stop here at the house and so we're kind of busy with that for a little while but now i'm back here in the shop junior just walked in what are you uh planning on doing tonight junior i'm gonna go ahead and Yeah. I'm gonna get to it now. Yeah. It's gonna be joyous. They were a little messy. 
absolutely covered. It was fun. It was worth it. <laughs> you guys will see that in the upcoming video for that's, the channel. That's coming up this week, right? Yeah. So you just released that uh, what compilation video from yeah. this year? Yeah, basically just like a short little music video here. It's pretty good. One of the things that uh, I noticed on there, and I don't think people are going to pick up on it unless we talk about it a little bit, but is that is that song, where did you find that song? I found that song on a channel that I follow called Montage Rock. Huh. They post a lot of copyright free music. Nice. That particular song was copyrighted. So I don't get to make any money on that video, but I liked it and I wanted to use the song. So, so there's one part in that video where uh, I believe you're at Magnolia and you're looking down at the engine and somebody throws a rag up on the windshield. And um, that was, I think that was the night you blew it up up there, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the night that we put the hole in the piston and broke the valve. And then like the next, the next scene, you see the piston in the cylinder and the, yeah. the valve went through the piston. I thought that was pretty cool. Not that it, you blew it up, but just that you caught that that little snippet in there because that was a rough time. It was rough. And uh, you know, there was several times throughout the, especially the beginning and the middle of the season that I thought about just slowing down and taking a break, but I didn't, I couldn't. I gotta keep going and I'm glad we didn't because we had some decent success near the end of the year. Yeah. We won four or five, six races near the end of the year, so. Once we put it on methanol and got them precisions on there, it was game on. Yep. And the dump valves and everything else. It was a rough year for everybody. Yeah. 2020 sucks. I mean, we had some good times. We had some really bad times, too. So We're going to have to really come out of stuff. Let's mix it up a little bit. I think Tommy's truck will be fun. Yeah. Speaking of Tommy's truck. I know we haven't mentioned it much here lately because it's at uh, the fab shop and our fab shop guy has been really busy trying to get some other things, loose ends tied up and uh, working on some other stuff. And he was in an accident. He got burned somehow working on his furnace. So that's held him up a little bit, but it's down at the fab shop and some of his parts came in today. So the other day, I dialed up my buddy Vic Ellinger with Wiseco Performance Products and explained to him we were changing directions with Tommy's S10. I explained to him that we were changing from nitrous to turbo and that we were going to need a set of pistons. So Vic got us hooked up with a brand new set of custom-made Wiseco flat top forged pistons for Tommy's turbo engine. So these are custom made. You can see how far down the top ring was placed on these pistons. But anyway, this is a uh, custom forged two valve relief flat top piston uh, for 155 bore made for a six inch rod and a 3.875 stroke. So basically, Tommy's engine will now be a 421 small block. Last year's standard bore, it was 415. Um, we tore up one cylinder wall in it pretty bad when we uh, melted that one piston. So we took it up to uh, Bob McVeigh at McVeigh Automotive and Machine. And Bob has the block ready He's been waiting on these. So now that we have the pistons, uh, I think I'm gonna run these up to Bob tomorrow and drop them off at the machine shop if he's there. I'm not sure what he's up to this week, being it's the week before Christmas. He may not be in the shop, I'm not sure. I'll call him tonight. But anyway, Tommy's pistons are in. We've got rings, bear, or, uh, we've got piston rings and heavy duty wrist pins. Very, very nice. Look at this. 
a little heavy, <laughs> but uh, I don't think he's gonna, I don't think Tommy's gonna bend one of these wrist pins. So anyway, Tommy's truck will be a 421, should be around 11 to one compression, somewhere in there with a, with a flat top piston. And um, so that's the news on uh, Tommy's engine. We're gonna get started on that here pretty soon. Um, in other news, uh, we have some tubular core supports that showed up. Billy ordered some tubular core supports and those showed up the other day. So let's go take a look at those. Check this out. Brand new aluminum tubular core support for an S10. Now there's two of them here. We've got another one down in the box. One of them is for Tommy's truck and one of them is for Billy's truck. So let's go ahead and unwrap this plastic. All right, so we got it all unwrapped. You can see that the core support is notched for increased uh, space for your radiator in front of the engine here. It's got some nice mounting tabs here, one for the fender of course, and then probably a hood mount. Welds look really nice. And here's your mounting points at the bottom where it bolts on top of the frame horn. Really nice looking stuff. This was made from uh, aluminum by a company out of Wisconsin called Defiance Fabrication. Really, really nice, ultra lightweight. Look at this. I mean, I got it on my thumb. It weighs like nothing. So the trucks always had the stock core support and we've notch the core support to move the radiator forward to give clearance for the um, intercooler piping but we've always needed um, a better way to mount the radiator the radiator is basically just sitting in there right now and I don't even want to talk about it that's been a thorn in my side for four or five years so I'm pretty excited to uh, and we've got new core supports for both the trucks. Tommy's radiator's mounted pretty nicely. Never had any trouble with it. I did it. Billy mounted this one. <laughs> His fabrication skills are primitive at best. <laughs> so new pistons are in. Two new core supports are in for both the trucks. Let's see. What else is going on around here? I don't know. It's Christmas. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to go racing this last weekend. Billy went to, uh, he went to some mud bog thing. Uh, it's a, it was an ATV and side-by-side uh, -side cached it. And I don't have any video of it. I got a few pictures I can show you. But man, oh man, Billy just left with the dually in the trailer to go wash those things off. It's been too cold. Um, we had a lot of snow up here. The snow has finally melted. And it's a little bit warmer up here now than it was this weekend. So he's out cleaning those things up. I took some video of them this morning. Ugh. <laughs> it's whatever. These kids are something else. They had a good time and I'm glad that they did, but I'm sure glad I'm not the one having to clean up this mess tonight. Cheese and crackers. Look at this disaster. I know, June's even whimpering. She don't even want to look at it. Billy made a mess, didn't he? Just a big old muddy mess. It's terrible, isn't it, girl? Well, that's going to be about it for tonight, guys. I think Vicky's bringing dinner home here in a little bit, and uh, me and June Pup's going to go in the house, get warm. Um, I think I'm going to take those pistons up to Bob tomorrow. I need to get off here and call him. Make sure he's going to be at the shop tomorrow. If he is, I'm going to run those pistons up the machine shop. So that'll be something to get done tomorrow. I don't know what the weather's going to do here, but 
it's pretty miserable right now. It's pretty wet with all that snow melted and it's, everything just real tender and soft outside. And so a little hard to do excavating work right now. I got a little bit of that I need to get done. I got another load of coal I need to haul. I could do that. So I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that I need to get done anyway. So we'll see what happens. But I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, stay tuned. This week's going to be really good. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, my boy Boosted GT, Chris Hamilton, started a YouTube channel. Go check that out, Boosted GT on YouTube. Subscribe. I promise you that guy's going to have some good stuff. I promise you it's going to be really good. If he gets time to do them, that's the big thing with Chris. He works a regular job and still doing the street outlaw thing. And now he's trying to do a YouTube channel. And he's a dad. He's got both hands clear full. Good luck to you, brother. I love you, man. Subscribe, Boost the GT on YouTube. I'm out.